are here with Three Song Story. My name is Travis Holcomb, and joining me for our inaugural Three Song Story is an artist who put out one of my favorite records of 2021. We are here with Elkie. Elkie, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thanks for having me. So the concept behind this segment is just to sort of try to get to know you through three song selections that you have graciously brought us. And uh, we wanted to hear something old, something new, and something of your own. Um, so let's start with something old. You brought us a track from a group called The Cookies. This song is called Chains. And uh, let's check it out for a second, and then we'll talk about it. So why don't you tell us why you pick this song by The Cookies? Um, it's kind of a loophole because this was a hard thing to decide. And it's my favorite old song. Um, and it's really because I love doo-wop so much. It's like what I grew up on. Um, but uh, Carol King wrote this song and the Beatles also covered it. So I'm like kind of laying a few, <laughs> some groundwork by picking this song. You know what? I never really picked up on like a girl group soul influence in your music until I heard this and just sort of like the gal the rhythm section kind of reminded me a little bit of a few of the different tracks on your record. Do you feel like any of that influence sort of seeped into your work as well? Absolutely. Totally. Yeah, yeah it's kind of like um, I tend to have a hard time escaping it. <laughs> Um, in terms of the rhythm section, like usually when I write songs, they happen to, they more so than not happen to be in 6-8, which is just a swingy kind of doo-wop, you know, it's the measure for that for the most part. Um, but yeah, I think <laughs> it totally does and it will continue to, <laughs> I can't make it stop. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get back to uh, your song selections. We have a track here by an artist I'm not familiar with at all. Um, a guy named Ryder the Eagle. Uh, so let's check this out. So why did you pick this song? Um, I've been listening to it so much lately. First of all, he's a, I've seen his show twice and absolutely blew me away. I saw his show recently, actually, and I was like, crap, I didn't realize how powerful that song is. And I was like reading the lyrics and he's just a super talented dude. Um, and when when you told me like the like what a new song you're like something that people need to know about in the description and I was like people really need to know about this guy he's, he's got some he's like full package artist it definitely went in a much different direction than I was expecting about 10 seconds in it went I thought it was going to be like kind of a weird experimental synth pop kind of thing and it went into like 70s AOR soft rock territory it felt very earnest though also yeah, and it's uh, the one thing that got me at first, I was like, true love is my only guide. <laughs> <laughs> love that concept. And then he just keeps pulling back the layers of what that means to him. 
And oh, I'm, so, I'm a big sucker for lyrics too. So I was just like looking at genius.com, just like, what is he saying? This is incredible. <laughs> well, let's go to your final selection. We asked you to bring something of your own. And uh, this is a track from the record, No Pain For Us Here. And it is Rinse, Repeat. Are you wondering why you don't give yourself away? That's a code, my dear. You blend them up, you can't break through the other ones you won't into. It gets easier after it gets harder, it's repeat. I love the hook on that track. Wow, thank it gets easier after it gets harder, rinse, repeat. <laughs> Where did that come from? Um, surprisingly enough, it was before COVID. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think just the thought process of, um, cause I, you know, just how problems arise in life. Um, and you think that there's some sort of like, gateway opening of like, I'm free, I'm mature, I'm past this. And it just always comes back, but it really does get easier after it gets harder. So you could have picked any song from the record or past releases. Why did you pick this one in particular? I mean, this was another tough one too, um, cause every song on this record means something very big to me and they're all equal. Um, but this one I would play the most something that I think I really needed to hear for this one it just kind of was a healing the way that it came out too was it was just a special song that kind of was a friend when I needed it well you made a lot of really great songs on this new record it's called no pain for us here for everyone out there listening I don't need to tell you but um I want to thank you so much for joining us for a three song story it's been a pleasure talking to you thank you Elke thank you so much for having me